McLaren has pulled off a surprising car launch, showcasing their immense confidence in the new vehicle. According to McLaren, they claim there are no diminishing returns, and the speed gains compared to last year's car are substantial. The big question now, can McLaren shock everyone and go head-to-head -head with Red Bull this year? It's time to uncover the answer. Exploring how major sports teams and organizations ignite motivation among their staff and players is truly intriguing. As we witness top American football teams striving for success in the NFL playoffs, it's captivating to observe how coaches rally their players with the aim of hitting harder and running faster in crucial knockout games. The utilization of the chip-on-the-shoulder effect becomes a potent tool in the intensity of such a brutal sport. Formula One teams also employ motivational tactics, albeit in a different manner. While a driver stepping into a 200-mile-per-hour racing machine already experiences a rush of adrenaline, the application of these strategies proves valuable for team staff working behind the scenes, those putting in extra effort back at the factory or away from home amidst the demanding 24-race calendar. Autosport has delved into this concept, drawing insights from Otmar Staffnauer, who shared how he utilized similar techniques in response to a season predictions video ahead of the 2022 season. In the past, when Otmar Staffnauer led the Alpine squad, predictions for their performance in a 2022 season labeled it as potentially the most disappointing. While they slipped from 4th to 5th in the constructors, they failed to secure any wins and never seemed like title contenders. Despite the risks associated with such predictions, McLaren has taken a bold approach to fuel their motivation for the 2024 season. McLaren recently released a Whatever It Takes trailer featuring headlines from Autosport.com during the challenging early stages of their 2023 campaign. This artistic move serves as a declaration. They're determined to prove themselves in the upcoming season. Harnessing this kind of fire can be powerful, even though there's a potential downside of facing criticism if performance falters. The anticipation for McLaren's 2024 livery reveal reflects a team brimming with confidence, showcasing their remarkable turnaround since a lackluster car launch the previous year. The successful implementation of a summer upgrade plan in 2023 led to nine podiums, a sprint win and a pole position, highlighting McLaren's significant progress. Breaking away from the naming convention introduced in 2023, McLaren has opted for the MCL38, reverting to the numbering system used before. This shift, combined with the team's confident demeanor, raises the question, can McLaren take the necessary steps to contend for F1 titles once again? Their unique approach suggests they're ready for a distinctive journey in the upcoming season. McLaren is adopting a strategy reminiscent of Red Bull as we approach this time of the year. Unlike other teams that often present a mere color tweak as a new machine, McLaren is forthright in calling their upcoming event a livery launch. They plan to unveil the specifics of the MCL38 on February 14th, opting for a unique approach without a traditional media launch event. This move serves a dual purpose. Firstly, McLaren is intentionally seeking early attention, providing a marketing boost for themselves and their array of new sponsors ahead of the crowded early to mid-February car launch period. Secondly, the team, led by Andrea Stella, is deliberately pushing everything to the last minute, aiming to build anticipation. Stella mentioned they are pushing everything last minute to the limit in terms of constructing the first 2020 24 Challenger, but reassuringly added that they are currently on track with their plans. This split launch approach adds an extra layer of intrigue, keeping fans and the F1 community eagerly awaiting McLaren's bold and last-minute reveal. Andrea Stella and McLaren Racing CEO Zach Brown shared their thoughts in a futuristic lecture theater situated beneath the expansive McLaren Technology Center, which extends deep into the Surrey countryside, away from the iconic wind tunnel emissions cooling lake. Throughout the event, a palpable sense of confidence permeated the atmosphere. During the discussion, Brown took the opportunity to delve into his ongoing big concern regarding the Alpha Tauri Red Bull Alliance. Expressing his understanding that Alpha Tauri is moving to the UK, Brown sees this relocation as a potential benefit for both teams. These remarks, echoing sentiments expressed in the final rounds of the 2023 campaign, underscore McLaren's apprehensions about the growing alliance between Red Bull's two squads and its potential impact on resource levels. However, the fact that Brown is vocal about these concerns underscores McLaren's recognition of Red Bull as a genuine on-track competitor. No longer confined to a perpetual cycle of rebuilding and midfield mediocrity, 
McLaren is positioning itself to face challenges head-on in a highly competitive Formula One landscape. Sticking to the anticipated launch message, Andrea Stella emphasized McLaren's utilization of the new infrastructure delivered in 2023 in the development of the MCL38. He highlighted that the car has been entirely developed at the MTC wind tunnel since September, marking the end of McLaren's usage of the Toyota Cologne wind tunnel in August. Stella elaborated on the integration of the new infrastructure, stating it's been developed in terms of the new simulator and composite and metallic parts are being produced in the new manufacturing infrastructure and facilities that we have delivered. The team has also received a boost with the addition of key personnel, including former Ferrari head of vehicle concept David Sanchez and ex-Red Bull chief engineering officer Rob Marshall. In the brief time since joining McLaren, Stella noted that Sanchez and Marshall have brought their personal approach, sparking in intriguing technical discussions. Stella expressed, they come with quite a lot of knowledge, no surprise. They've been part of great teams, great projects, and the good thing is that this knowledge integrates with what we knew with our know-how. He emphasized that their collaboration has been refreshing, as it's not about conflicting approaches, but rather a complementary one. Stella concluded by noting the positive impact of their knowledge, energy, and ideas flowing through the organization, creating momentum and enhancing the overall creative process. Now McLaren boasts a rather intricate technical structure, essentially led by three technical directors. David Sanchez and Rob Marshall, alongside Peter Prodromo overseeing aerodynamics and Neil Holdy in charge of engineering and design, form a formidable team. Andrea Stella hinted that their collective efforts will not be solely focused on the current MCL38, but will extend to McLaren's upcoming 2025 and 2026 design projects. Despite this broader vision, the immediate focus remains on the MCL38. The Autosport magazine's January 4, 2024 issue boldly posted the question, McLaren, Red Bull's next big rival? To reach that level, McLaren recognizes the need to address weaknesses that persisted even after significant performance gains midway through the previous season. Andrea Stella acknowledged this, stating that McLaren had confirmed, definitely there's some areas that we could have looked into, particularly on the aerodynamics side. He delved into the intricacies of operational improvements, emphasizing the need to do better from an operational point of view in 2023. As McLaren eyes Red Bull as a formidable rival, the spotlight is on their ability to rectify these identified shortcomings and propel themselves to greater competitiveness. The MCL60S of McLaren often found found themselves out of position due to numerous small errors, particularly during qualifying sessions. Andrea Stella emphasized the need for Lando Norris to prioritize reliability in qualifying performances, drawing inspiration from Max Verstappen's consistent and strong showings. Stella also highlighted the importance of Oscar Piastri taking a step forward after an impressive rookie season. Reflecting on the 2023 season, Stella raised concerns about potential issues with the car's grip in certain conditions, especially after Norris missed a pole opportunity in Abu Dhabi. In response to Autosport's inquiry, Stella reframed the issue as a question of whether they had made the car quicker but slightly more challenging to exploit at the qualifying limit. Throughout the initial part of the off-season, McLaren investigated this theory and concluded that there were areas, specifically on the aerodynamics side, that warranted further attention. Stella explained that aerodynamics and ride are closely connected, as teams aim to run the cars as low to the ground as possible. One example he provided was the challenge of finding the right compromise in this regard. Stella acknowledged that some of the benefits might be integrated into the launch car, but certain projects would continue as part of an ongoing work stream that could result in additional developments. He emphasized that addressing certain issues may take a few months, and McLaren is committed to a thorough exploration to enhance their performance. McLaren is optimistic about resolving the confirmed erratic handling issue in its 2024 development plan, with the expectation that improvements will unfold in the opening quarter of the season. Both Andrea Stella and Zach Brown stressed that the key to McLaren's return to consistent F1 victories is enhancing the overall speed and performance of their package. Stella provided a positive outlook, stating that McLaren sees no diminishing returns in their development path initiated with the 2023 Austrian GP upgrade. He expressed confidence in the team's ability to maintain this trajectory. However, Stella emphasized the importance of translating these performance opportunities into tangible results on the track, acknowledging the unpredictability influenced by competitors. 
competitors' actions. While data analysis indicates that the MCL38 is already an improvement over the MCL60, the team remains cautious about how these gains stack up against the competition. Without specific targets for the Constructors' Championship finishing position, Stella and Brown hinted at the expectation of competing at the forefront of F1 in 2024. Stella concluded by highlighting the uncertainty surrounding Red Bull's development strategy in 2023, creating doubt about what to expect in 2024. The focus for McLaren is clear. They aim to elevate their performance consistently and contend with the top teams throughout the upcoming season.